All right, guys, welcome back to the cave, Cody's Movie Cave, um, where we're going to be discussing a movie per usual. This one was really cool. It kind of flew under the radar as sort of this, I don't know, straight to on demand type situation, which is where a lot of movies do go nowadays, unfortunately. Um, this nice little indie slash action comedy type situation. Uh, and it's called Last Looks, okay? Last Looks, right here. It's got uh, Charlie Hunnam, who we can all know is from Sons of Anarchy as Jax. Really good actor. And Mel Gibson rocking a pretty awesome, weird type, villainous looking mustache. Even though he's not really a villain in this one. But he is very funny and very different. And very cool, I, might, I must add, as a supporting type character. Um, so Last Looks tells the story of Charlie Waldo, who is played by Charlie Hunnam, right there. Pretty easy, you know, he's got the same name. And, uh, is an ex-LAPD cop who is left to leave, he's forced to leave the force, and who is now kind of lives in solitude in a camper out in the back of the wood, backwoods, you know. He's sort of trying to live a peaceful life of solitude. And that gets kind of uprooted when a former fling, played by uh, Monica Baccarin, you know, she's from Deadpool. You know, she's, she played Wade Wilson's girlfriend in Deadpool. Really good actress. Anyway, comes and presents this case, you know, a private detective's type situation uh, to him to help out Mel Gibson's character, who is named Alistair Pinch. He is a actor who is very eccentric and spends most of his days drunk uh, on the set of his TV show. But anyway, he has to come help him with a case, and uh, that's kind of where the trouble and the fun ensues. It's, it's funny, it's got some really witty moments, and it's got some action in it, not a lot. It's not, not really a straightforward action movie. It's more of a... It's hard to describe what it is, really, but it, it, it comes off as trying to be a comedy, which is really cool because Charlie Hunnam has never really done a lot of, you know, if any, I don't think none, uh, comical-type movies. And so this was really cool to see him in that element. Um, it's kind of, you know, the, the noir, you know, noir-ish type, you know, detective movie from the 50s, you know, those old black-and-white detective films of murder mysteries. But with a contemporary setting and um, hippie vibe, if you will. Because, you know, Charlie Hunnam's character is very much kind of like a hippie in this one. So, uh, yeah, the tagline is, Nothing grabs a headline like a Hollywood murder. And so, um, it, yeah, it's a fun fun little flick. It's, uh, it's rated R for, you know, language. It's got quite a bit of language. Not a lot of violence, but quite a bit of language. But it's really fun to see these two characters kind of come together and riff off of each other. You know, Mel Gibson's character and Charlie Hunnam's. Mel Gibson is superb, I thought, in this movie. I mean, he's, he's a great actor, and I'm a fan, obviously, anyway. But he gets to kind of do something a little different, you know. He takes more of a, um, a sideline-type role into this movie. But it's fun to see him kind of play this eccentric... Um, you know, he's not a man of action. He's not, you know, this tough guy. He's this crazy... I mean, he's always going to have to throw crazy in there some right. It's Mel Gibson, right? Um, but, yeah, very eccentric. And it's fun to see him play that. And, uh, you know, Charlie Hunnam does a great job. Um, it's not that long. It's 110 minutes, so it's not a long watch. But, you know, it's a fun movie. It's fun. Um, not for the kiddos. Like I said, it's rated R. And I don't believe it's streaming anywhere for free yet. It's one of those buy or rent type situations. But, um, you know, it's worth the rent for sure. I'm a fan of, of Mayo Gibson and Charlie Hunnam, so I went out and went ahead and bought a copy. You know, it looked cool, so I said, why not? And was pleasantly surprised uh, that it was, you know, pretty decent. It wasn't a, a complete waste. Um, so, yeah, give it a check out. You know, it's something different and, and, and kind of, I don't know. It's, it's not Oscar-worthy or, or not box office gold, but it's 
it's something to watch when there's not a, a lot to watch right now nowadays right you know there's not a lot going on and um, the choices are fewer and far between so you know it's always fun to, to have something different come out and be able to watch it and so um, yeah last looks pretty pretty nifty little movie as you can see here the two characters uh, you know they, it's fun to watch their interactions together so um, yeah last looks that's it guys um give it a look give last looks a look ha <laughs> anyway um as we say down here in the cave this is my opinion and opinions are like butts guys everybody's got one and some of them stink have a good day friends and that's why i'm going to direct this verdict and find this here defendant guilty Alistair, that was terrific. Terrific? Bloody genius. You're not going to top that one. Wouldn't be the first time I've had the clap. Lorena. You ghosted me, Waldo. I ghosted everybody. Look, I'm here on business. Alistair Pinch, the actor. Killed his wife. Guilty. Maybe he killed her, maybe he didn't. I don't think he even knows. The guy's a blackout drunk. I deplore drinking alone, so I have a double. The network's got a lot riding on him. Mr. Waldo! They're looking to hire a PI. I'm retired. Come on, let me bring you back into the real world. What would I even do with the money? Where's all your stuff? Cut myself down to a hundred things. And you kept that hat? What say you, Detective? Will you return to your mountain and leave me to the fates? Or will you stick around long enough to see the police maybe get it right this time? Osmar. Where did you come from? Welcome to kindergartens of the rich and famous. Death must have shocked the hell out of this place, huh? Come meet me tonight. We can talk then. Do you trust me? Why should I trust you? Is there anything you're not remembering, Alistair? I have gotten married, fathered children, and taken out mortgages and not remembered. You do realize that everyone is sure you did this. Officer, they're going to arrest you. Go put some clothes on. Don't be silly, love. The network will adore me in this wardrobe. Mm. Anyway, if it's good enough for Wacko Jacko, it's good enough for me. <laughs> Can't you tell when a girl just wants to have a drink with you? Buckle up. Okay, look, I'm a pacifist, a and I refuse and to spleen. get involved. In <laughs> have you had enough? Had enough.